Hello everybody, my name is Sip Kane. I'd like to welcome you guys back to Star Wars Knights of the Republic to the Sith Lords. Now, I did try to record this episode just a second ago, but I f fucked up. And I, um... I majorly fucked up. I did just say that. Um, I didn't record a full episode. I noticed it, like, about ten minutes into the episode, I would say. Um... I did not have my audio at the right settings, so I thankfully I did not re like I said I did not record a full episode. That's that's the good thing here. Um, so I managed to catch myself, but I'm just gonna go back through and we are gonna play some more. All right, so there's an XK droid in here. Uh, it needs a control cluster, a vocabulator, a processor, and a chassis. So I have chassis, vocabulator, and a control cluster. And we're going to be doing Nar Shada, by the way. I didn't mention that. Um... Because Nar Shaddaa's one of the, if not the longest time you actually spend on the place that you're going to be. On Duran, you go Dunks, you go Dunks in, uh, you go to Ducks in first, and then I believe you go back to On Duran. Um, but Nar Shaddaa's time you it has the most amount of time you actually spend on Nar Shaddaa. Goodbye, Corvon. I did. No I will not miss you. Well, here we are. The Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shaddaa, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Nar Shaddaa's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. Uh, let's talk to Evan Hawk. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector, and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. <laughs> There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. It is the way of things. To 
By the way, I, I'm not going to voice the uh, aliens anymore. They talk way... Their canned dialogue is so much shorter than the original game. Request, if Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. Tabani <laughs> Observation. Jedi follow the self-destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. Their tits are literally pushing their braziers. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. <laughs> it teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Never have I been to a place so alive with the Force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Welcome to Nar Shaddaa. Towering buildings kilometers high and miles deep, with canyons so wide you could have a dogfight in them. <laughs> Word of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. <laughs> you know that for experience from experience. Um, let's get moving. All right then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? <laughs> it does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah. If you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. Whatever we do, I say we get the Hawk's ID signature changed while we're here. Might keep us from being a target when we enter a new system. It is not your choice, Adon. It is his. Aton. What is it you wish to do? Z Z whatever the... How do you say that his fucking name? I want to find him. Finding a Jedi or anyone else touched by the Force here will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult. But this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. See where our path takes us. All right, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Let that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad. Its landing pad ships land on it. No, really? Thanks <laughs> for the insight. And here I was thinking you were a smart human. I got another ship coming in, and unless you want that piece of junk's hull crushed flat, you better move it. Got it? I can pay for the space and your time. Yeah, right now all I'm hearing is talk. How much you offering? I'm guessing 50 credits ought to be enough. Done. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I got some visitors booked for your space. But I'm sure the two of you can work it out when they arrive. I can't believe he took 50 fucking credits. Okay, we're gonna do Visas and Beodur for now. I'm getting Beodur so that I can, um, 
get something uh, off the workbench. Uh, he can, he's going to build me some parts so I can um, upgrade my lightsaber. Okay, uh, we can do that. And then some force deflection. And we give these this light armor so that if I get any more of those jo my Josh Shea stuff, or uh, those, it, it's like um, Jedi battle armor. Basically, I can give that to her. get that and that there we go How may I serve? All right, here we go. No, look, you can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. You've got us locked in. Couple of cowards without a real f a stomach for a real fight. Yours. 
Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. Um, I couldn't stand by and let them hurt you. Why were they hunting you? Well, they work for the exchange, for a quarren named Visquis. He's looking to step up in the exchange. The only language the exchange respects is money, so Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Narshada as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. What do you mean? The exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. Uh, sorry about that. I was actually looking for my phone. I couldn't remember where it was. Uh, where can I find Visquis? <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. Okay, I was glad to help. You better head up before you get in any more trouble. Whatever your reasons, thanks. I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spare a few credits, maybe help another refugee in need? Of course, here's five credits. Thank you, stranger. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you do such a thing? Such kindness is uh, nothing. His part fuck! Is she bugs me even whenever not she's earned, not like here. Sand into his hands. I cannot stand by and let others suffer where I can when I can help them. And would that be a kindness? What if by surviving another day he brings a greater darkness upon another? <sighs> Does your pessimism run that deep? The force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. Seeing another elevated often brings the eyes of others who suffer. And perhaps in the end, all you have wrought is more pain. And that is my lesson to you. Be careful of charity and kindness, lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist. This is a lesson I will never learn, for I do not believe it. Very well. But mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. Spare a few credits, friend. Of course, here's five credits. Much appreciated, friend. Life's hard in the refugee sector, and this should go a long way to helping. Like some information. Uh, all right. I don't know much beyond the refugee sector here, but I can share what I know. Looking for a Jedi Master. Jedi Master? There aren't any Jedi Masters in the galaxy, let alone on Narshadar. This place is a cesspit, with the Exchange and the Hut stabbing their claws into everything. But you know, I did hear something about a bounty on Jedi, though. Something the Exchange posted. Doesn't matter, though. Aren't any more Jedi around. So no one's going to be collecting that bounty. I'm a Jedi. You're lying. You're mad. A Jedi wouldn't come to the... You're serious. You're telling the truth. What are you doing here? Are you trying to get us out of this place? Please, you have no idea what life is like here. If I can, I'll help everyone I can. Of course. Of course. Tell me, what else did you want to know, Jedi? 
Uh, what can you tell me on the bounty of the Jedi? Not much to say, except it's a high price. You need to find a bounty hunter to get more, and they've been pretty scarce lately. You might have more luck trying to find someone connected to the exchange. And I don't mean some spaceport muscle, I mean someone connected. Any idea why they posted a bounty on Jedi? No idea. Could be one of them crossed the exchange, and they're looking for revenge on all of them. Where would I find someone connected to the exchange? Well, they tend to lay low. To be honest, it's like with bounty hunters. You may need to do something to get their attention. How are we going now? Look, Jedi, before you go, I know you probably didn't come here to save us, but... But I knew Jedi during the war, and I know that they always helped when they could. If I can help you, even just by keeping an ear out, I can let you know if I hear anything. I'd appreciate that. I'll do that then. I'll come seek you out if I hear anything I think you might want to know. And what did he want? Nothing. Just answers to some questions. It's okay. I already know he's a Jedi. You do? Then why? Mm, trust me, Narshida just got complicated. <laughs> Thirty second model. Explosive ends. Uh, you say your thirty second version? Sell some stuff to this droid real quick. How are we going now? Gera kada ce mense binga ruru ko todo unde chuchu amata so benkish manencece fela di bono ta moni krana kada. Terewana jun konata de la raguna tuna dai rinto ron kawere kare papana la ranchinga de racha we minuto to rere sene senten tien it's beador 12th engineering division out of eatoria i worked with you in the hangar bay terewana jun konata de la raguna tuna dai rinto ron kawere kare papana la ranchinga de racha we minuto to rere sene senten de rinto ron to wakere kwe wap gerebu nenso telepachan gorsa dara nane grae gra da no nota choloren tien we are already in trouble. In some ways, the war is not yet over, and our enemies seek us even now. Terewana jun konata de la raguna tuna. Dai rinto ron kawere kare papana la ranchinga. De racha we minuto to rere sene senten. Key change ship's ID transponder. Terewana jun konata de la raguna tuna. Dai rinto ron kawere kare papana la ranchinga. De racha we minuto to rere sene senten. Any uh, parts or equipment I could buy? Okay. So I'm gonna buy that and that. And we sell some stuff. We 
sell Ludacris's War Sword. Uh, system Static Blaster, or Systax Static Blaster, my bad. Okay, I'm gonna use the workbench with Bayodur. Um, oh right, I forgot about this. What happened to him? Uh, what would you like me to do? Plans, what plans? Uh, yeah, what plan? Um, they aren't dangerous, are they? Uh, I'd be glad to help. Let me go retrieve the George from Cody. Um, I'll be going now. I already know what the George looks like. Okay, Bayodur is going to make me some stuff. Um, firstly, let's look in this plastic cylinder. Airspeed and navigation interface. And this metal box. You know it's rectangular or um, octagonal. It's called a metal box. <laughs> Okay, um... Create a breakdown items. Plus, and I'll break down some items. Energy baton is the first one. Uh... Break down that. I won't ever use that. Um... Just being honest. And I don't use T3 and 4, so I don't really need these repair kits. I don't use HK either, so. Okay. Now I am going to de equip Beodur.
And I'm going to get Kraya since she's my other Jedi. Alright, and Kreia's going to be... Kreia's a full support class, so I need her to be, have a lot of intelligence uh, so that I can upgrade her skills. In particular, treat injury. Alright, she needs another one. Um, lots of light side skills for Kraya. Revitalize one. Alright. And I need to upgrade my lightsaber. And do that. That. Uh, 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 uh. Boom. Oops, wrong way. Hey, I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. Yeah, okay, bud. It's Can the Ebony Hawk, it? isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the mid rim, near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. If the ship is yours, I'll you going to challenge it. That makes things a lot easier. No hard feelings, I hope. Don't worry. You shouldn't have any trouble finding transport off Narshada on your own. I'd rather have clear consciousness than I'll be a going stone now. Ship. Get used to the solid ground beneath you. Get used to not having my ship. Fucker. <laughs> okay, so Undar is going to give us a quest to deal with the uh, Rodin over across from him. I don't see any customers Calm down, I just said I don't see any customers. Sure you are. I'm 
she's hurting in business, maybe I could talk to her, reach a compromise. Discount off weapons and armor right now. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. I don't know. I suddenly feel Nashida, strange. The true Nashada that you feel around you. It is this moon with the metal and machines stripped away and the currents of the force laid bare. The sound, the vibration is strange, tense. I'm surprised you can feel it. I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. The anger and desperation. Is there some way to heal it? One might as well heal the universe. But such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. I'm not interested in I'm not interested in uh, Fuck! I'm not interested in manipulation but healing. Healing is manipulation, and if you do not realize it yet, then you will discover that an act of healing depends largely on your perspective. Manipulation is done through propelling events, or selected ones, into motion. It is done through teaching, through example, and through conviction. And the greatest of victories are not manipulations at all, but simply awakening others to the truth of what you believe, of hearing it echoed around you in life. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Feel life as it is, with the crude matter stripped away. Alright, maximum force points increased. Let's go talk to the Rodian. Actually, let's go Please, do this look, over here I, first. I already paid the exchange what I have. <laughs> Uh, but I, uh, oh, look, here's the one with your credits. About time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. Uh, this man is under my protection leave now. Exchange muscle. When they hear about this, they'll come back a dozen strong and tear you limb from limb. Uh, um, it's your life. Let me them come. I'm laying low for a while. Maybe they'll forget about me. And what is it you think you have accomplished? It was the best you thing seek to do. To aid everyone that suffers in the galaxy. You will only weaken yourself and weaken them. It is the internal struggles, when fought and won on their own, that yield the strongest rewards. You stole that struggle from them, cheapened it. If it were you, need Cray, I would do if you what I could to help. Yourself in such a I way really wouldn't, me, but I would rather suffer and die than have you demean yourself for me. 
That is not who you are, who you can become. It's who I am. Then you do not know yourself, and you will die a fool's death before you are ever tested. Accepting help to aid my friends isn't foolish. That will be your undoing. Then your allies are your weakness, and if they die, you die with them. And because of that, where once the Sith had but one target, now there are many, and you frustrate my attempts to protect you. Don't if you do hear not it, wish show. to hear it, then you will remain deaf to everything around you, and that shall be punishment enough. Ah, oh, I grow weary of this. Perhaps time will allow my words to take root if your common sense will not permit it. Influence gained, Visas, influence lost, Kraya. I don't give a shit. I don't like Kraya. I've stated this many, many times. Uh, an Udenjar across the way has a problem with you. That is acceptable. Um, let's see what you have. Dagon, a Dagon, and yellow. Okay. Let's go talk to Undar. You don't offer me a discount too. If you want to grind, you have to raise your offer. When you have to do better. Not scared of this change. Go to the exchange, give him my description, I'll be waiting. Uh, under count to your offer the third from each uh, you try and tell me something else, you're testing me. I'll stand with you. Uh, 
Naka prota gocha, jarko mati sochba locha, yota chi sabarinish. Naka prota gocha, jarko mati sochba locha, yota chi sabarinish. Jamalakish, tochi makam, lotologo besanus. Misash lochut, jamalakish, tochi makam, lotologo besanus. Misash lochut. Uh, I'll do my best link now. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Undar. I'm standing with Gein Gita. Uh, don't trouble her anymore. Grachi, you bat she compa duana musca. Now bosca wamba. Reliba on the tosha. Mancho carina on jore de masha. If the cantashi played the similar jore crano. Nora hagua musca, yokola laubaca. Hava he never ever on his nest to see her. Charn. Some ass. Take some names. Credits. Credits. Sweet. Looking for an astromech droid. IT thirty one once belonged to T and Hut. Or T and Tub. Seems know what I'm talking about. How about by the I have a feeling you'll be satisfied with my 50. Alright, I'll turn the red door to the tub. Negotiate your release. You don't look too good. Good. 
Yoshi Uranus. Free to go. Okay. Very well, give me on. All right. Um, after I'm gonna go right through the canteen, I believe. After that, I am going to end that at this episode here. Okay, I'll be going now. for it to load. Okay, I'm in that episode there. Go ahead and save. Okay. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Check the awesome content I create, including the links that will be at the end of this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.